morning on our way to the Lauterbrunnen and Grindelwald area in the valley, going on a bit of an epic drive. Phoebe's on a phone, missing the view. I've seen the view and I've not been on my phone all of this drive. We're about to go up and over. We're at the top of the Gimsel Pass. We're just giving the van a little bit of cool down time. Um, <laughs> And having a and dry frosties. Phoebe's having dry frosties. Where are you? Phoebe's having dry frosties. And a half eaten apple. Gavin, Gavin, Gavin's having a brew. That's Harry's, not mine. And we're just overlooking the lake. Um, and then we're gonna set off for a last. I think there's about 40 <laughs> minutes left. Harry's back there, like our makeshift washing line in the van. We needed to do some washing. Um, it did quite dry yesterday, so we <laughs> struck it up across the van. It's working. And uh, yeah, we're on our way to Lauterbrunnen. We're going to stop at Air Gorge on the way. On our way down to where the clouds are. arrived at the gorge. I'll put the name of it down below because I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Aero Gorge. There's loads of parking for vans at the west entrance to it so I suggest you come to this one. There wasn't so much parking at the other one um, but you can fit loads of vans in it. The Air Gorge in the Bernese Oberland region of Switzerland was formed by the Air Glacier 10,000 years ago. Torrential runoff water from the melting glacier eroded a deep, narrow chasm through the limestone barrier. The gorge is one mile long and bordered by sheer cliffs up to 160 feet high on either side. It varies in width, but it's barely one metre wide at its narrowest. Kids, what did you think of the gorge? Uh, it was nice. Huh? Just nice? I don't know that one. Worth a visit? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to talk about. The gorge, how did you like the gorge? Good. Good. It's wet. Well, it's rained a little bit. It's a drizzle. It's a small shower. It's not it's that bad. Small. We're now going straight to Lauterbrunnen. Mm -hmm. Next stop was Lauterbrunnen with its steep cliffs and 72 waterfalls, most famously Stabak Falls. We're in Lauterbrunnen. We made it through the rain. We waited for the rain to stop. We're now, we've eaten at the restaurant, we've checked into the campsite, we've had a little wander. Now me and Phoebe are off up to Stabak Falls. Harry has gone back to the van with Simon. He's like, the, oh, didn't want to walk, he didn't want to walk up the hill. It's a bit of a hill. And you forget in Switzerland, you're always at altitude, so everything takes you out of breath. Now 
And that this is the backside of the water. Oh my god! The other way is down. Down. It's <laughs> just down. Very far. Campsite that we're stopping in for three nights. It's called Young Five Euro Camping, and we're literally right in the middle of Bowtrun. Keep these damn things. We're about five minutes, and the falls that we've just walked up. Look at that! Today we're off to Grindelwald to um, see what's up there, and maybe visit Grindelwald. Maybe. First, we've got to take a train from Lauterbrunnen up to Wendon. We're now in Wengen. We're just about to get the cable car. Come First out. cable car of two, I think. Because we made an orderly queue. We made an orderly queue. The queue just pushed on. We made an orderly queue and we're riding the gold cable car. The royal experience. You got it? The gold cable car. It's chilly up on the mountains oh, today. Oh, it's not the 30 degrees it was at the top of Glacier 3000 a few days ago. It's cooled down a lot. Cable car down. To this one go to this one go to Grindelwald. Yeah. And we have one to ourselves. And this one and this one is fast. We do have a cable car to ourselves. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the smoothest cable car. People walking down. Oh yeah, you can walk down. You can walk down. They're walking down with the children. Probably because the children don't want to use the cable. Well, you have to pay. <laughs> Going through the cloud. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, it looks so cool. I'm really excited to go through the cloud. The adult will be Now your view is nothing. Right, we're on our way up the last leg of the journey. We're going to the top of Brindlewald first. We totally hiked yes. all the way up here. Totally. We did not. No, we didn't. We got we bus. We got bus. It's a good job because it was all uphill. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, this is a swinging one, this isn't it? This is a swinging gondola. And it's smaller than the other ones. 
takes 25 minutes on the gondola. He was like, 25 minutes? <laughs> Once at the top of Brindlewald, you can experience the cliff walk at no extra cost. The kids love this and it gives breathtaking views over the valley. Definitely worth a little trip. Wobbly faves. <laughs> oh my god, it is a little bit wobbly. <laughs> Stop bouncing it. Sorry. Harry, go behind me a second. I want to I want to have fun. Oh, it sticks out there. <laughs> that is Backlaga Waterfall. That's she only knows that because she read a sign. Mm. You can actually walk the entire journey up to Grindelwald and back down again without using the cable cars. So on the way back down we decided to skip a few cable car stops and walk some of the way. I would highly recommend this as the landscape is stunning. We're in a cable car whiteout. <laughs> Cannot see a thing. Uh, on the camera, it looks not like that, but really, we can't really. Yeah, you can't see through it. Oh, yeah, it is. No, it's because it's coming back now. Good morning! It's the next day. Yesterday, we spent the day in Grindelwald and managed to uh, dodge all the rain showers. Um, but yeah, it started raining about five o'clock last night and hasn't stopped. It's now lunchtime the next day and we haven't moved from the van. We are having ham and cheese sandwiches and debating on whether we fancy going out in this. We were supposed to summit the Schilthorn today and go to Mirren, um, but we don't know. We haven't decided if we're going to risk it and go anywhere and go anywhere or not. So watch this space and you'll see whatever we decide to do. So we've decided to brave the rain and head to Interlaken to get Phoebe some trainers, to get Harry to a pharmacy because he needs some bike cream because he's going to be bit by midges. All the waterfalls are out from all the rain. one it's particularly big today. Off we go. So we're just about to get the funicular up to Harder Cool. We're getting the Harder Van. on the move again we are now leaving the Lauterbrunnen and Grindelwald area and um, we were supposed to go up the Schilthorn this morning or the top of Europe but the you can't see anything from the top so we're not going to spend the money and go up because it's a lot of money to go up to not see anything so we're going to save that for another time and um, we were supposed to be driving to a place called um, Zug 
to do the Stu's Ridge hike. However, I've checked the webcams there and it's all in the clouds. So again, be a waste of time. We'd get wet and cold and there's just no point. We're going to save that for another day. So instead, we're off to the capital city of Switzerland, Bern. So we're going to go there, have a little look around and see what there is to do in Bern. See you there. No, Harry found an interesting way of going down the steps in Bern. Hi. <laughs> I have said, FYI, that he's a bit silly and he'll hurt himself. <laughs> but Let's see it's better. <laughs> I want a bear. The first thing we've seen in Bern is the famous Bern Bears. That's so cute. Symbol of Switzerland. The Switzerland. Um, they are really, really cute, although I felt a bit sad because they didn't look very happy. But they do have 5,000 square metres of land, which includes like a forest and swimming stuff. And so, I mean, that's pretty cool. short day today a lot of driving finished in Bern after a couple of hours and um, small city so not a great deal amount to see but we saw what we wanted to we've now on our way to the next campsite for tonight and um, we're going to make some burgers in the van and then tomorrow we're heading um, to Rhine Falls for our last full day in Switzerland before heading off to country number five so we'll see you tomorrow bye it's our last day in Switzerland today and we've come to Rhine Falls. We've just parked the van in a car park that's made for RVs. I will put a link down below for the car park. It's really good. Hopefully it's only going to be a short walk. Um, and we are off to see the falls once the kids stop running around the van. See you in a bit. So there's Rhine Falls over there. They're yeah, just walking along the river. I think we're going to get a little boat out to it. I think there's three different boats, three different colours depending on how close you want to get to the falls, how wet you want to get, and if you want to get off in the middle and go up the rock in the middle. There's also a viewing point on the other side of the river, which is really good to take the photos. So hopefully we'll do a few of those. There's loads of fish in the river. Big ones. I wonder if they're here because people feed them. Do you want to feed some? Just about to get on the yellow boat to the middle of the falls.
Wales. We did the yellow boat. Wouldn't recommend. It's very um, packed on the rock. I would recommend the blue boat. Um, it's cheaper and it looks more fun. It gets closer to the fall. I think you get a bit wetter on it, but you know, you want that in summer. Um, I would recommend the blue one and it's cheaper. <laughs>